Hello and welcome to News Center. I'm Parikshit Lutra. After seven months, India has a full time chairperson for the Competition Commission. Ravneet Kaur has become the first woman to head the CCI, a 1988 batch ICE officer from Punjab Kada. Ravneet Kaur will be at the helm of the competition watchdog for a period of five years. Her appointment comes at a crucial time as the organization has more than 250 pending cases related to anti profiteering and anti trust. Core's responsibility will include overseeing the implementation of the Competition Act. She will also serve as a member of the Committee on Digital Competition Law. To discuss this further, we're now joined by Samir Gandhi, partner at uh, Axiom Partners. Mr. Gandhi, thank you very much for joining us here on CNBC TV 18. Uh, we do get a sense that over the last seven months, uh, M&As were held up, but that process was eased up a little bit because uh, the government waived off the quorum requirement. Give us a sense of how the Indian industry has been affected over the last seven months because of not having a chairperson at the CCI and uh, the kind of cases that have piled up uh, over the last few weeks. Thanks. Thanks, Parikshit. And look, let me start by saying that it's a fantastic development. I'm personally and professionally very pleased that the uh, government has uh, appointed Ms. Kaur to the position of the chairperson. Uh, this position is pivotal for the functioning of the CCI, as you mentioned not least because uh, of the imminent changes that are going to be implemented to the Competition Act. The Act has just been amended. Uh, it has received presidential uh, assent. So we're in the run-up to actually a, a, almost a brand new competition law. Uh, I think apart from uh, the first task that she will have on her plate to uh, implement this newly uh, framed uh, amended law, she is also going to need to deal with some serious cartel cases, including, for example, the cement cartel, which is uh, pending um, disposal, a whole uh, lot of investigations which have been piled up uh, and have been languishing for uh, want of quorum of the Competition Commission. And uh, on the MNA side, I think the Commission has done a fantastic job only because, uh, aided by the invocation of the doctrine of necessity, uh, it has gone ahead and cleared a number of merger proposals. But there again, there have been some questions asked about the more tricky merger proposals, which the Commission has cleared. There has been some litigation before the High Courts, uh, which have questioned the authority or the invocation of the doctrine of necessity on the merger control front. So all in all, Parikshit, a pretty messy situation for the Commission mm -hmm. to be in. It's done the best uh, it could possibly do. Uh, with Mrs. Kaur, with Mrs. Kaur's appointment, I'm very hopeful that uh, you know we're going to see uh, renewed and invigorated enforcement by the CCI. Right. Uh, also, when it comes to abuse of market dominance by big tech, uh, investigations against startups, so what kind of regulatory clarity that you're expecting from the antitrust regulator when it comes to investigations against startups, investigations against big tech, which is pending? Absolutely, Parikshit. I think one of the key areas in which the Competition Commission has focused its attention in the course of the last couple of years uh, has been on abuse of dominance investigations against large technology companies, uh, platforms. Uh, so some of these are ongoing and some of these investigations, uh, I think, will now start to move beyond uh, simply, uh, you know, investigation stage and the Commission will have a chance to uh, adjudicate upon some of these. Uh, others, uh, I think, will benefit greatly from the new settlement and commitment process, which will kick in once the new act is actually enforced. So, again, I'm hopeful that uh, the chairperson will use all the powers available to her uh, in this new competition amendment bill or com amendment act now uh, to be able to hasten the enforcement of antitrust cases, including those against uh, big tech companies, startups, so on and so forth, but pretty much across the board for it. So I think that while the focus will be, I'm no doubt, uh, on big tech uh, as well as on startups, but I think uh, these powers that are now available to the new chairperson and to the competition uh, agency as a whole, uh, this is the perfect time to actually test them, to put them mm -hmm. into place. So it's it's an it's a real opportunity for for mm. a reset. She has a full five years, uh, which is uh, also a tremendous advantage. It's unprecedented, Parikshit. No other chairperson of the Competition Commission since right. 2009 has had full five years to go ahead. Right. Uh, the other question: How important is it for the Competition Commission 
to have uh, a full quorum of members. Uh, currently, yes, the minimum requirement will be met once uh, Ravneet Kaur joins and takes over as CCI chairperson. That will be a total of three minimum members. But what about the other members? The CCI had advertised for the position. I think uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the applications are invited till the first week of May. And in the next few weeks, we'll have clarity on whether uh, and when more members will be inducted. How is that important for the CCI considering the load, uh, considering the pendency of cases and the kind of transition it's going through? Thanks, Parikshit. I think in a moment like this, uh, more is uh, merrier. So I think uh, uh, having a few more members uh, as part of the commission will definitely help. Uh, bear in mind that the commission uh, does take decisions as a whole. Uh, the quorum rule is the bare minimum, right? Which is you need three members uh, present for a validly constituted meeting of the commission. So I don't, uh, I, I think that the for the time being, to have the chairperson to be able to complete quorum is fantastic. Bear in mind also that uh, some of the existing members of the commission are going to superannuate in the next three or four months. So uh, honestly, I think the process for appointments of the new members uh, needs to be put onto a fast track. We will greatly benefit from having uh, more members on board, uh, but equally we will benefit from a continued quorum. Uh, uh, you know, of uh, having at least three members once the existing members also superannuate towards the end of the year. So I think it's all in all a, a good thing that this process right. has started and moving along. All right. Uh, thanks very much, uh, Samir, for joining us, giving us your view on the uh, appointment of the new chairperson, the first woman chairperson of the Competition Commission of India. And this is a time when India is also working and has set up a committee to look into the possibility of a digital competition law and uh, Ravneet Kaur will also be a part of that body. Thanks very much, Samir, for joining us here on CNBC TV 18. Uh,